ओके स्टार्ट करते हैं क्योंकि टुडे विल बी एबल टू डू दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टैंडर्ड बिकॉज इट्स टू सिंपल एंड टू नैरो बहुत छोटा स्टैंडर्ड है ओनली थिंग इज यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द नर्व ऑफ दिस सीरीज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ हिस्ट्री एंड बैकग्राउंड अबाउट द एट हंड्रेड सीरीज एट हंड्रेड सीरीज एक्चुअली वॉज इंट्रोड्यूज इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन रीजन बींग वेरी सिंपल क्योंकि टिल दैट टाइम द आई सी आई डिड नॉट फाइंड द नीड ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ दिस सीरीज द रीजन वॉज क्योंकि दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम में स्टैचुटरी ऑडिट वॉज ऑन इट स्पीक एंड एवरीथिंग वॉज यू नो लिमिटेड टू वन हंड्रेड टू सेवन हंड्रेड सीरीज में राइट एवरीथिंग वॉज लिमिटेड टू दैट थिंग Even though it was introduced in 2011, it was still not made applicable for intermediate level. That time also, it was kept solely for the purpose of CA final student. Because these are those areas which you need to understand. Intermediate student can't understand the technicality of these particular areas. Actually, they are not do that too technical, right? Followed by that, it has the three standards in its series. One is relating to 800, one is 805, and one is 810. So, in total, how many? Three standard, eight hundred, eight zero five, and eight ten. When it comes to eight hundred, eight hundred talks about your reporting on those financial statements which are created for special purpose framework, which are created for what? Generally, when we report up to seven hundred series, try to understand up to seven hundred series. It is general purpose framework financial statements. Are you getting the point? Eight hundred series is. only dedicated to the special purpose framework related financial statement it means those financial statement for which intended user is only one or the limited person right that is what 800 is all about 805 talks about reporting on a one single financial statement what do you mean by that only reporting on pnl or only reporting on cfs are only reporting on one particular area only revenue side only expenditure side it means a limited audit jaise hamara ek chapter hota tha audit of different items of financial statement do you remember that to hum logo ko question aata tha how to vouch or verify or how do you do the audit of a sale or audit of sale of scrap particular area means very limited area so the name of the standard is reporting on single financial statement and abcd account a particular balance particular classification particular discount matlab very limited kind of audit for that we need to have 805 in our pocket and the third standard is on summary financial statements it is on what matlab you have already done the actual audit but someone wants you to give them the summary of that jaise abhi humne dekha reliance ka audit report itself consist of so many pages including its fs and all so it will not be possible for every investor to go through the each and everything some investors are only looking for a particular area boss i want to need to know what is the actual net profit of the company but when you see actually the financial statement net profit before taxes after depreciation before depreciation so many elements will be there that will be confusing so i want that audit report which is summarized in nature what in nature for that we have 810 did you get the point So why this is called specialized series? These are beyond your normal statutory audit for which you can be hired. Are you getting relevant? And main thing is try to hire up another independent chartered accountant for the purpose of the same. Did you get the point? Now today we are only going to cover first that is called 800. We will cover it and we will write it. Very small standard. And tomorrow, I think maybe by the afternoon time. our 805 and 810 also will be covered not sure about writing part but understanding part will automatically be covered uske baad apan jayenge next series of standard where the next whatever the series of standards we are left with so remember this you are doing it for the first time you have completely no idea and the same applies to me also reason being very simple mere time pe it was there but it's long back i'm talking about 2013 14 ke baad these standards have been eliminated from the portion itself was not at all asked in the final portion as well so it is reintroduced so i have to also regain the particular knowledge for this but i will make sure that i will deliver you in a way 100% more than your satisfaction right so let us start with the first standard the first one we are going to start is what 
SA 800, what is the name of the standard? Please repeat. Special consideration, audit of financial statements prepared in accordance with special purpose framework. What is SPF stands for? सबसे पहले तो यू नीड टू हैव अ बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग कि जनरल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क एंड स्पेशल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क जनरल पर्पस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स एंड स्पेशल पर्पस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स आर व्हाट गिविंग यू अ चॉइस फर्स्ट यू टेल व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय जनरल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क एंड स्पेशल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क अकॉर्डिंग टू योर अप्लाइड नॉलेज प्लीज टेल मी देखो जनरल पर्पस फ्रेमवर्क होता है वेयर अवर इंटेंडेड यूजर इज पब्लिक एट लार्ज where 99.99% of the people who are going to use my financial statement know that ki how financial statement looks like that is called what general purpose it means it is generally required for every intended user say for example bank want to use same fs schedule 3 basically the biggest example is what schedule 3 schedule 3 is nothing but general purpose financial reporting framework now the question arises ki what is special special purpose framework financial statements are those which are specially created for the particular user he wants you to put your financials in a particular framework in which he wants to see say for example jaise i am a indian company right in my indian company 70% of the holding is by a foreign company am i a indian subsidiary who is my parent foreign payment now foreign payment uh, parent means what it is going to be us gap thinking that ki he is staying in what us and i am in india so my fs are prepared as per indian gap so they are using what foreign gap so he wants me to prepare a special set of financial statement which is connected or which is in compliance with their us gap it means for that definitely you need to have a person who is having a knowledge of those areas Am I correct? That is the consideration number one. सबसे पहले before accepting this particular engagement only, you have to understand कि do you have knowledge of US gaps or not? That is a challenge number one. ठीक है ना? Second challenge what you will be getting in this kind of area is how I will plan and how I will perform this audit. Challenge number two. Challenge number three how it is going to be reported. These are the major three things you need to understand. What are the major things? Challenge number one acceptance. Should I or should I not? challenge number 2 planning and programming my audit how i will conduct it challenge number 3 how it is going to be reporting because now my reporting is not going to be as per indian gaps it is going to be what ab jaise there is one another thing also you need to understand you must have heard about these areas called fdis fis kya difference hota hai isme what is fdi by the way foreign direct investment theek hai na so what do you mean by fii मैं तुम्हें बेस से लेके चल रहा हूं सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड कि व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू एफडीए स्टैंड फॉर फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट एफआईआई स्टैंड फॉर फॉरेन इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर दोनों का इंटेंशन बोथ द पर्पस इज सेम दे वांट टू इन्वेस्ट इनटू इंडियन कंपनीज इन इंडियन कंपनीज राइट बट व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू हम व्हाट इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन अ पर्सन कमिंग इन द रूट ऑफ एफडीए and a person who is coming in the root of fii most of the student to you answer dete ki fii stands for foreign institutional investor so he is an institution no it is wrong fii can be individual also it can be a warren buffet who wants to invest in your company also you know that he is an individual na so he can invest so he, fii and fda has nothing to do with your individuality or with your you know person personality it is the major difference between fdi and fis in the fis they don't contact the company they simply acquire the shares of the company from the stock market fdi may they do communicate with the company ki we are interested in your product because your line of operations are in alignment with our line of operation and we would like to grow in indian market so boss how much share of your equity you are interested in sharing with me that is called fdi so fdi may communication takes place with the management and tcwd fii may no communication direct what acquisition of the shares isme kuch bhi voting right ka issue nahi hai voting right fii is also will get and voting right fdi also will get so what is the major difference you found 
कम्युनिकेशन कम्युनिकेशन विद होम मैनेजमेंट हु इज कम्युनिकेटिंग एफडीआई इज कम्युनिकेटिंग विद द मैनेजमेंट तो इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू रिजल्ट एनी काइंड ऑफ हॉस्टाइल टेक ओवर इट मींस दे विल कम टू यू एंड इट्स लाइक बेसिकली ड्यू डेलीजेंस यू कैन कॉल इट एज ड्यू डेलीजेंस नाउ प्लीज टेल मी सपोज अब जैसे इंडिया का डीमार्ट है अब वॉलमार्ट इज ऑल्सो इन टू द सेम लाइन ऑफ एक्टिविटी तो वॉलमार्ट वुड लाइक टू डू द एफ इन वॉट डीमार्ट तो वॉलमार्ट क्या करेगा हु इज द एक्वायर वॉलमार्ट एंड हु इज द टारगेट तो एक्वायर विल डू द डी डी और टारगेट विल डू द डी डी एक्वायर और डी डी मतलब क्या ड्यू डेलीजेंस कौन कौन से ड्यू डेलीजेंस करेगा वो ही विल डू फाइनेंशियल ड्यू डेलीजेंस लीगल ड्यू डेलीजेंस टैक्स ड्यू डेलीजेंस ऑपरेशनल ड्यू डेलीजेंस ह्यूमन रिसोर्स ड्यू डेलीजेंस वाई बिकॉज अ फॉरन नेशनल इज गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट इन द इंडियन नेशनल एम ए करेक्ट और नॉट अच्छा बेसिकली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो हमें यही समझना है कि सर ड्यू डेलीजेंस इज नेवर एवर अबाउट टेलिंग यू एनीथिंग पॉजिटिव Positive Walmart knows about Dmart because positives are being published in their financial statement. Due diligence का main objective क्या होता है? To understand what? या तो deal killers. Do you remember this word? Deal killers. So he conducts the due diligence on Indian Dmart to understand the word deal. Why I should not buy this? That's what he is interested in knowing. अब वो बंदा क्या करेगा? He will talk to the management of Dmart and he will say that boss, I would like to do the due diligence and I would like to obtain the information now. He wants the information now. Try to understand. This is the starting point now. He wants the information, but how he will understand the information according to Indian gap or according to US gap? So it means Indian information. He wants it in which format? US format. Are you getting the point? There comes the need of SA eight hundred. So you have to hire a practicing chartered accountant, different from your statutory auditor who has done your financial audit. What is the reason? What is the reason? Why do you need a person different from the financial? Because he expressed an opinion on your what financial statement as per the which framework? General purpose framework. And that person needs the information on what special purpose framework. First of all, that person. Whom you are going to hire must be having the upskilling of doing this. So this comes like before saying yes. Why? I have said that challenge number one was what acceptance. Whether you accept it or not. So these are the areas where the SA 800 is going to be used. Are you getting the point? And SA 800 me when you issue the report, na, so what is your heading is going to be? Independent auditors report on what special purpose. Financial statements. So heading also is going to be what change. Obviously format also will be change. Usko ham log detail mein discuss karenge. But did you understand the point? Ab jaise say for example, it can be understood in this way also. Suppose my major supplier is a Singapore supplier. Supplier is from Singapore and seventy percent of my raw material is being bought from him. So he wants to analyze my credit worthiness. He want to analyze my and credit worthiness ko determine kaise karte? How do we determine the credit worthiness of a person with the help of what financial? So now he wants his financial as per your country or his country. So he wants as per Singapore gap. Suppose Chinese supplier, so Chinese gap. Japanese supplier, so Japanese gap. Are you getting the point? So there comes the areas where you need to hire the chartered accountants doing the audit on what special purpose financial statement. It means now these financial statements are for the limited use. Are for the which use? अभी हमने बी आर एस आर में देखा वट इज द लास्ट पैराग्राफ ही रोट इंटेंडेड यूज के लिए ही है तो हियर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू गिव द सेम डेक्लेन सेम ई एम पी पैराग्राफ की बॉस दिस रिपोर्ट इज गोइंग टू बी देर फॉर द विच यूज लिमिटेड यूज दैट इज वट द मेजर ब्रॉडर फ्रेमवर्क यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड बिफोर गोइंग इन साइड द स्टैंडर्ड आई होप आई वॉज एबल टू मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड कि वट वॉज द पर्पज बिहाइंड दिस स्टैंडर्ड तो वी आर एक्चुअली गोइंग टू कंडक्ट एंड ऑडिट ऑन दोज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट which are not general purpose framework based which are special purpose framework based on the requirements of one particular intended user particular user and again we will write one declaration also here ki boss it is for this user if anybody wants to use this for their own purpose also they can on their own risk yahan pe bhi same aayega did you get the point so shall we start the standard now bahut easy standard hai 
it's nothing but going to make you introduce to the various other standards which we have already done but in those areas you will understand some hidden things right so first let us understand the standard background is normally a statutory auditors are appointed to express their opinion on what general purpose financial statement as per what schedule acha some of the clarifications you need to know before entering into the standard what about 3ca 3cd forms which we do tax audit report is this special purpose framework or general purpose how wahan pe hame fitting karni hoti hai we we don't have the schedule 3 format in tax audit टैक्स ऑडिट में शेड्यूल थ्री फॉर्मेट नहीं होता थ्री सी ए थ्री सी डी में अपने को वो उनका एक अलग सा फॉर्मेट है देर वी हैव टू पुट द फिगर्स इफ समन हैज डन दैट बट एज पर हुज फ्रेमवर्क एज पर द फ्रेमवर्क विच इज इश्यूड इन एंड एप्लीकेबल इन इंडिया तो रिमेंबर वन थिंग इंडिया में देर कुड बी डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट यू कैन कॉल दम एज स्पेशल पर्पज फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट जैसे बैंक है बैंक का फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट डिफरेंट होता है Correct or not? They also use the Schedule Three, but under the Banking Regulation Act, 1949. Part A there also balance sheet, Part B also revenue account. We call it. What do we call it? अपने यहाँ पे Part A balance sheet and Part B को P&L statement बोलते हैं. But ours is Company Act and theirs is same is the case with the insurance company also. Insurance company का फर. But remember, they all are what general purpose frameworks. They all are what. स्पेशल पर्पस कब बनता है जब हम लोग ऑफ द कंट्री जाते हैं या क्रॉस बॉर्डर करते हैं देन इट विल बी मोस्टली टर्म्ड एज स्पेशल पर्पस और सेबी हैज रिक्वेस्टेड जैसे सेबी का कोई फ्रेमवर्क नहीं है सेबी हैज रिक्वेस्टेड स्पेशल सपोज दे वर कंडक्टिंग इनसाइडर ट्रेडिंग एंटीसिपेशन रेड ऑन यू एंड दे वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट यूर वॉट फाइनेंशियल तो दे मे टेल यू ओके बॉस दिस इज अवर फॉर्मेट पुट योर फाइनेंशियल इन दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड वर्ट स्पेशल पर्पज इफ इट इज गिवन an acceptable broadly in india it is what general purpose if it is only on the request of some particular intended user then it is going to be called as what special purpose i hope you understood the whole thing gone with the background now no need to understand this example this is what the same example i was telling you ki suppose indian company mein who wants to invest foreign and foreigner wants to invest he may either come in the format of fdi or what fi तो ही विल कंडक्ट द ड्यू डेलीजेंस ऑन यू इन केस ऑफ एफ तो ड्यू डेलीजेंस में ही वांट्स योर इंफॉर्मेशन इन द विच वे जनरल वे और स्पेशल वे दैट्स व्हाट तो फॉरेन एंटिटी इज नॉट आस्किंग द इंडियन गैप्स रादर दे आर आस्किंग यू एज पर वर्ड इसका मतलब अगर किसी को ये असाइनमेंट एक्सेप्ट करना है तो ही शुड बी वेरी वेल वर्स विद आइर देयर गैप्स और आई देर ग्लोबली एंड यूनिवर्सली एक्सेप्टेड आई एफ फॉर दैट पॉइंट सो नाउ वट इज एस बी एफ एस ओनली फॉर द विच पर्पज इंटेंडेड तो and one more thing i told you ki this auditor and the auditor who has done the audit on your what general purpose financial statement should not be what same make sure that he should be different so that to by an independent auditor not that who did your what general purpose financial audit but someone who will do spfs audit as per the requirements of what sa now first thing which we need to understand is the difference between general purpose framework and special purpose it is as per the requirement of the law in where india like schedule 3 in case of what companies act and schedule 3 in case of what banking regulation act and even if it is insurance and even if it is a tax audit report ka 3ca 3cb everything falls under what general purpose framework now what do you mean by special purpose framework format of financial statement as per the requirement of a particular investor particular creditor or certain specific requirement example investor who has a large stake not state large stake in which operations would like to have the financial statement as per their requirement special purpose financial statements are nothing ye standards are half an hour 45 minutes ke all three standards small only major thing is you need to understand ki what is the background major time investment is background only otherwise standards are very small chapter is too small now see special purpose financial statements are nothing but the same balance sheet pnl and cfs which are prepared as per what special purpose framework of the which user intended to need to be audited by an independent ca who will give the audit report on the same as per the request now this is how your report looks like ab dhyan ek second let me just this is how your special purpose ka report looks like now see this format independent auditors report the first change again you found it in what 
independent auditors report on where special purpose financial statement and who is our intended user yahan pe to board hi hai are you getting what if the board wanted some specific areas to be told it could be any kind of addressee it could be sebi it could be a foreign investor it can be a fda person right so first point is title and the second one is what addressee third me dekho report on what we are specially relying here is hum log opening paragraph or introductory paragraph bhi likh sakte hain to what we are saying that we have audited the accompanying special purpose financial statement of loda developers limited which comprises a balance sheet and statement of pnl for the period ended and the summary of significant accounting policies and so here also we are saying that we are not doing the audit of gpfs we are doing the audit of spfs then directly starting with the which paragraph management responsibility it means who must have prepared this financial statement again management you are not going to involve in that company's board of director is responsible for the matter stated in what is 1345 isse hum log bolte hain drs director responsibility statement can anybody tell me what comes under 1345 याद रखना हमेशा शॉर्टकट बता रहा हूं हमेशा याद रखना सेवन डिक्लेरेशन कम हाउ मेनी ए एस ए पी ए आर जी सी आई एफ सी एस एल एंड आर अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्डिंग एंड अकाउंटिंग एस्टिमेट वट आर द फोर अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसी अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड अकाउंटिंग अकाउंटिंग एस्टिमेट एंड अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्डिंग ये तीनों की तीन अकाउंटिंग रिकॉर्ड्स ये फोर की फोर किसकी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है डायरेक्टर्स की मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी नेक्स्ट जीसी किसकी मैनेजमेंट आईएफसीएस मैनेजमेंट एंड बचा क्या एल एंड आर व्हाट इज एल एंड आर दीज ऑल पुट टुगेदर इज कॉल्ड एज वन थर्टी फोर सब सेक्शन फाइव हमेशा याद रखना है सेवन पॉइंट कम्स अंडर डी डायरेक्टर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी स्टेटमेंट So who is taking the full responsibility of preparing this special purpose financial statement? No, you should not be involved in it. That's why it is an independent auditor's report. So talking about the management responsibility, followed by which auditor's responsibility. Apna responsibility paragraph you need to read. What is that? See, our responsibility is only to express our opinion on these special purpose financial statement. We have taken into account the provisions of the Act, accounting and standards, and matters which are required to be included in the reports there under. we conducted our audit on the special purpose financial statement in accordance with the standards on auditing specified if you remember apne ko same char declarations deni hai what are the four declarations ke boss even though it is special purpose financial statement i still followed as a 200 ka ethical requirements what are my ethical requirements integrity objectivity everything the whole audit was conducted on the basis of saaa sufficient and appropriate i followed my standards on auditing along with 800 remember 800 does not override 100 to 700 series 800 is in alignment with what 100 to 700 800 mein there is not even a single sentence which says that ki we are not going to follow 100 to 700 to 100 to 700 is equally applicable for general purpose as well as what special remember 800 cannot override the First is 700 series. Are you getting the point? Next thing, an audit performs procedure to obtain evidence and all that same thing we are talking about. We believe that audit evidence we have obtained is sufficient and appropriate. Niche dekho opinion paragraph. Read this. Our opinion to the best of our information according to the explanation given to us. So required and give a true and fair view in conformity with the gaps in India because we were giving it to the बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स ऑफ इंडियन कंपनी ओनली दैट्स वाइट इज गैप इन इंडिया तो बताओ कैसा आएगा इफ इट इज अस पर्सन अकॉर्डिंग टू द जनरली एक्सेप्टेड अकाउंटिंग स्टैंडर्ड ऑफ यूनाइटेड स्टेट एम ए ग्रेट एंड बेसिस हाँ दिस इज द न्यू पैराग्राफ मेन यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड ये पॉइंट ध्यान से पढ़ना पूरा पैराग्राफ वट इज अ पैराग्राफ का नेम सो फार वट वी हैव रिटर्न टाइटल फॉलोड बाय अड्रेस फॉलोड बाय इंट्रोडक्शन फॉलोड बाय मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉलोड बाय auditors are responsible this is the only extra para you are going to add basis of accounting and restriction on distribution and use this is what i was telling you where you need to include emp also dhyan se padho three things are written in same paragraph first of all basis of my accounting because it could be us gap then restriction on distribution it should not be distributed to every user because it has a which use and it's what 
use only for this purpose. Read this point. Special purpose financial statements have been prepared for inclusion in what? Consolidated financial statement of a which company? Parent company. As a result, the special purpose financial statement may not be suitable for any other purpose. Our report is intended solely for the what? Company that is a parent company and the auditors of parent company for their consideration and should not be distributed to or to be used by parties other than that company and other than the parent company and its user. Or in case you want to draw this attention, suppose GPFS ke niche SPFS diye. Now user may get confused while reading the audit report ki boss which financial statement I should go. You can better include the paragraph called what? EMP. Ki the above stated report is not for your purpose. For your purpose it is already given above. Did you get the point? And point number one. Most important thing is these four things you have to mention. What is the point number one? Who prepared it? In this paragraph only you have to mention. Who prepared it? Management. Second, why it has been prepared? Because it was requested by the board of directors of the parent company. What was the third reason? It is prepared in accordance with the Indian gaps only. Otherwise, if it is a foreign party, according to their gaps. And what is the fourth question? Who is our intended user? So, these four questions ka answer is nothing but called your last para. So, what are the four questions? Who prepared it? Why prepared it? On what basis it is prepared? And for whom it is prepared? My, who is going to be my intended user? Finally, everything will remain the same. You are going to sign it. You are going to quote your form registration number, followed by your signature, followed by your designation, followed by your name followed by your membership number and what UDI. But make sure this auditor should be different from your statutory audit. Format ka manch gaya, reporting ka. Correct. So what is the format ka reporting? Title, addressee. It is uh, introduction, management responsibility. And last paragraph is the only thing which you need to concentrate upon. Basis of accounting and restriction on my distribution and usage. Now, what this standard is saying that, first of all, effective from which year? 2011. Special considerations of this standard, I told you. Major three challenges you will face. What are the major three challenges you are facing? Acceptance of what? Engagement. Should I or should not? Main challenge. What you need to consider, I'll let you know. Second thing, planning and performance. How should I plan and perform this audit? Next point is what? Forming an opinion and specifically one declaration that ki boss I am not here to express an opinion on the operational effectiveness of your ICS. So, I am not here for ICS effectiveness. I am only here for SPFS, special purpose financial. So, three areas you need to work upon is acceptance, planning and performance and reporting. Now, see, what is special purpose framework? It is designed to meet the financial information needs of what specific user it could be maybe a fair presentation framework or it could be a compliance framework. Do you know difference? What is the Compliance framework is as per the rules and regulations. Or it could be fair presentation as per his requirements. Example, somebody may ask you to do only the particular audit of cash receipts and what? Disbursement. It may be sometimes required by whom? Creditors. To check your credit worthiness. I'm just telling you the more scope of examples to make you understand ki who can request you what. Second thing, sometimes a specific request may come from a home regulator, just a SEBI ne ya, IRDA ne, or RBI ne specifically kuch push liya. Okay, I need just I if you remember, we have talked about 143 subsection 5, 6 and 7. Yada hai? Supplementary audit and test audit on the government entities. It was a part of your statutory or it was in addition to statutory? In addition. Once your statutory is over, then CAG gives you the additional directions to conduct that audit. So, it can be a specific request which can come from your regulator. A third one, it could be a financial reporting based upon the requirement of a contract. Suppose the US client with whom I am entering a contract is saying that boss, I can't understand your FS. You need to prepare the FS as per US gap then only I will evaluate whether you and I can enter into a contract. This is the only condition. So, it can be a condition of a contract. It can be a condition of a bond intention. It can be a loan agreement. It can be a what? 
project grant any of these reasons can be the reasons for your special purpose framework clear next point where as it is different from what general purpose framework as it is a required to meet the common financial needs of what wide users of fs now how you will say that ki sps is different from gpf gpf meets the need of what only one single user particular user whereas the fpf meets the needs of what right not this standard does not override the requirement of what others hamesha yaad rakhna just because sa 800 series we are doing that doesn't mean that ki 700 series up to that are not applicable below you will find the list also ki all the standards we are going to use so let us understand the first challenge what is the first challenge we need to face challenges or considerations relating to what acceptance of that what auditor must know first of all the purpose of that spf ab think don't think from the entity point of view now now come into the zone of your shoes now ki you have been called by the reliance they are saying that ki we are hiring you for doing the audit of our special purpose financial statement which we are going to lay it front of you ab mere ko ye batao what are the things you would like to know what is a curiosity coming inside you first thing is what purpose you should have a complete clarity jaise hum log due diligence mein bhi ek point likha tha you should be having a complete clarity and no doubt in your head ki why you are being hired to so first of all to i would like to know 100% about the word purpose ki boss mere ko puri transaction batao ki why do you need this spfs are you entering a contract show me the bond papers show me the contract papers show me the requirement of the intended user everything you need to know that covers under what point number 1 second thing you need to understand what who is my okay if it is a local it is fine but what if is from cross border area then in that case you need to first educate yourself about what their gaps and their standards on auditing am i correct second challenge third thing is what steps taken by the management to determine that ki afrf they followed is what acceptable fir management ke upar bhi tumhe audit karna hai ki boss you prepared fs it is fine but you must have prepared as per whose gaps us gaps kyunki i am going to educate myself from the auditing point of view which point of view accounting point of view say who has to get educated management so there are total three burdens on your head before accepting what is the burden number 1 I hundred percent need to know my purpose. Why I am getting hired? Second, I would like to know the complete details of my intended user. Third, even the management is taking the steps to prepare the SPFs. Are they preparing it according to that AFRF or not? Clear as sorted. Hundred percent. Next one. Main key factor is knowing your which intended user. Now, what is the use of other standards in helping eight hundred? So 800 is not sole. It is dependent upon 700 series, 200, 300 series. The so first standard is what? Two time. Read the point. What is written? It is the duty of an auditor to determine whether any conflicts between financial reporting standards and additional requirement exist or not. Let's say, for example, ध्यान से सुनना जो मैं तुम्हें बोल रहा हूँ. Let's say, for example, US gap की requirement है, and I am an Indian auditor. So I have a full fledged knowledge of what? Indian gaps. I may have a little bit knowledge of what US gap. अब ध्यान से सुनना. Let's say for example, in our India, something is treated differently. In US, something is treated differently. जैसे SLM की बात करते हैं. India में SLM can only be adopted by power corporations. Am I correct? Say for example, US में that is allowed to the insurance entities also. Which entities? So are there the differences? That's what first I have to identify as per SA two ten. Why? Because in the beginning only you should bring into their picture that boss, these kind of conflicts are coming, and you should take appropriate action to reduce the conflict. How? By giving a note. If we are doing this accounting treatment, just because it is different from our accounting treatment, and we are doing a departure. Do you remember what was the major thing for you which were held guilty in nine one two? सबसे पहले दिमाग प्रोसेस करना शुरू करता है नाइन वन टू नाइन क्लॉज नंबर वन पार्ट नंबर टू शेड्यूल नंबर 
फेलियर टू इनवाइट अटेंशन ऑन डिपार्चर क्योंकि यू आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डू द ऑडिट एज पर हुज गैप यूएस गैप तो यू हैव टू राइट अ डिस्क्लोजर बिलो कि वाई आई एम नॉट ट्रीटिंग दिस थिंग एज दिस बिकॉज इट इज अ रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ विच गैप यूएस गैप आई एम डिपार्टिंग बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन If you will not make the disclosure, what will happen? You are guilty of professional misconduct under what? Nine one two. Are you getting the point? That's what they are saying. To beginning mean they are saying that it is a duty of an auditor to determine whether there is any what conflicts between FR standards which are acceptable in India and what additional requirement exist or not. What extra requirements they want? If the answer is yes, what is the answer to this? conflict then what you need to do auditor needs to take the action if such conflict exist or not there shall be very clear and correct understanding of terms and conditions between whom auditor and management to avoid any what future misunderstanding pehle starting mein bol do ki boss first of all to i am here for spfc second thing this is the only intended user and if there is any conflict in the beginning only tell ki boss this differences will come so don't fight with me at that point of time because our gap and their gaps are having the different point of opinion on this particular matter is it clear so what is the use of 210 in your essay 800 to reduce the what conflicts later on i don't want any kind of fight why rohit you did this and that starting mein bol do ki this difference will appear because what additional information you want is not required as per what Indian gaps. It is only required as per U.S. gaps. जैसे say for example, मैं तुम्हें एक छोटा सा इसका ना example बताता हूँ. Standard setting. हम लोग benchmarking करते हैं. Correct? What do you mean by benchmarking? Over and above which we are going to verify. Suppose मान लो India में एक benchmarking है 2.5 percent. What is the benchmarking? और U.S. वाले बोल रहे हैं 10 percent. Are you getting the point? तो अपन तो वी आर यूज टू फॉर वट टू पॉइंट फाइव बट दे आर आस्किंग मी टू डू एज पर वट दिस इज वट आई एम टेलिंग यू कॉन्फ्लिक्ट पहले ही बता दो कि बॉच वाई आई डेंट टेक टू पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बेंच मार्किंग बिकॉज टेन परसेंट वॉज रिक्वायर्ड बाई वट यू एस अकॉर्डिंगली इज इट क्लियर तो दैट इज वेयर द टू टेन इज गोइंग टू प्ले अ रोल इन मेकिंग यू अंडरस्टैंड वट एट हंड्रेड एग्जाम्पल For the purpose of sale of undertaking, there could be an agreement between the vendor and purchaser that the non-collectible debtors or doubtful debtors who are very prudent must have been provided for. Just say, for example, my client is selling business to somebody else. Am I right? And somebody else is a U.S. player. Is a which player? U.S. player. And he wants the due diligence to be conducted before purchasing or not. So, due to the part of due diligence, SPFS has been prepared. Suppose they have agreed to each other. कि बॉस वी विल एब्सॉर्ब योर डेटर्स वी विल ऑल्सो एब्सॉर्ब योर वट अब मेरे को ये बताओ जब वेन यू डू एक्विजिशन इज इट अ लाइन टू लाइन मर्जर और नॉट वट यू मीन बाई लाइन टू लाइन मर्जर माई डेटर्स आर योर डेटर्स माई क्रेडिटर्स आर योर बट प्रॉब्लम वॉज दैट कि देर वॉज सम डेटर्स हु आर बैड डेट्स ओवर वट अब मेरे को ये बताओ नेट एसेट में विल यू माइनस इट और यू विल नॉट बैड डेट इज रिकवरेबल और नॉन रिकवरेबल तो आर यू गोइंग टू माइनस इट इंडिया में अलाउड है इंडिया में अलाउड है सपोज देयर गैप इज नॉट अलाउिंग अब वट शुड आई डू शुड आई कीप इट एडिड इन द डेटर्स और शुड आई रिड्यूस इट फ्रॉम द डेटर्स कीप इट एडेड क्योंकि नाउ वी आर डूइंग द ऑडिट एज फॉर हुज रिक्वायरमेंट दैट इज वट आई वॉज टेलिंग यू डिड यू गेट द पॉइंट सो समाइम्स यू हैव टू इंश्योर दैट टेल द मैनेजमेंट की बॉस दिस प्रॉब्लम विल अराइज दिस इज अ सोल्यूशन to avoid what future misunderstandings next one second area of challenge for you is what considering ration of your planning and what performing now as per 200 what we are expected as per 200 the auditor must comply with all the so they are saying that ethical requirements won't change even though you are an auditor or spfc your ethical requirements will remain same second thing all other standards also which are relevant to audit are going to be applied same this is what the requirement of what 200 but in exceptional circumstances if the need arises if the auditor is departing from a particular relevant what requirement by performing a what alternative audit procedure to achieve the aim what they are saying that ki say for example i am not doing something which i am supposed to do as per the standard 
तो मेक श्योर दैट नेसेसरली यू हैव टू गिव अ वर्ट डिस्क्लोजर कि वाई यू आर डिपार्टिंग एंड वट इज द रीजन बिहेड दैट सिंपल सी बात है तो रीड द सेंटेंस अगेन But in exceptional circumstances, if what need arises, auditor may depart from a particular relevant requirement. But departing from the particular relevant procedure doesn't mean that you will leave it. You do it with the alternative method. You do it with which method? अब जैसे मान लो इसका SLM method है उसका क्या है W. India का according you have to follow only what suppose SLM. But now his requirement is what W. So you are, are you departing from the Indian uh, standards on auditing or not? So make a disclosure. Ki why you are doing this? Why instead of this thing you are doing WDB? So give a special disclosure. Otherwise, 200 as it is is applicable to 800 as well. So what are the two standards? Ka applicability we saw on 800, 210. 210 mein kya requirement tha? Boss, starting mein hi bata do ki conflict will come, and this is how the misunderstanding will arise, and we are going to take an action right second may they are saying ethical requirements are going to be same everything is going to say in case need arises and we are departing i'm not saying i will leave it i will perform what alternate audit procedure to achieve the aim aim will be achieved but with the help of alternative procedure now what is the role of 320 in your 800 320 kya bolta ye point dhyan se suna bahut important hai let's say for example ab I got the requirement from the foreign investor. Suppose I am a seller and he is a what? Purchaser. So while doing the due diligence, the foreign investor told me that, Ki, Rohit, please tell your auditor that Ki, we are not concerned with any cash fraud below 5 crores. He already sent a benchmark to me. What is the benchmark he is saying? Ki, which frauds are material for us? Which are 5 crores or more? Which frauds are material for us? Which are 5 crores or more? Which are immaterial for us? So that is the requirement of the word. US investor. Am I correct or not? But who is doing the audit here? Indian auditor. Just because he is telling you some materiality consideration, it does not mean that ki you will do accordingly. 320 mein ye bola gaya. In case you feel that ki even the below 5 crore wala fraud, your judgment says ki it is material, don't think twice before reporting that also. Are you getting the point? Especially in 320 they have said, don't compromise your materiality consideration. Did you understand what I said? Even though they are not bothered, they are immaterial for them. But if you think that it is what? And you need to report, don't think twice before reporting it. That's what they are saying. Especially in connection with 320. Where professional judgment is used. Because that person cannot affect my professional judgment. And we talked about this in group audits. Mein bhi. As a parent auditor, are you allowed to challenge the professional judgment of your component auditor? Or as it is? याद आ रहा है वर्ड एज इट जब हमने अपने इंडियन वालों को इतना रिस्पेक्ट किया तो बॉस यू डोंट टेल मी स्पेशली ऑन दोज एरियाज वेयर अदरवाइज इफ आई एम डूइंग इट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड सर ये तो रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ यूएस क्लाइंट है आई नो सम ऑफ यू विल बी हैविंग द डाउट कि सर दिस इज द रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ यूएस ऑडिटर देन व्हाई वी आर नॉट फॉलोइंग दैट बॉस रिक्वायरमेंट्स ओनली विल बी फॉलोड टू दैट एक्सटेंड इट इज नॉट कॉम्प्रोमाइजिंग माय ऑब्जेक्टिविटी इफ हिज रिक्वायरमेंट इज पुशिंग अ प्रेशर on my word, IOI, what is IOI? Integrity. It is completely null and void for me. This power has been given by I say to you. Ki agar aapko lag raha hai, ki his requirement is suppressing your word. Professional judgment, don't take up that requirement, do accordingly. Did you get the point? So read this whole point. Now it will go smoothly inside your head. Now read it, 320 ka kya requirement hai? Generally, we do consider the material based upon consideration of the common financial needs of the user as a what? Group. But in the special purpose financial statement, those judgments or materiality shall be based on the consideration of financial needs of what? Intended user. Generally, we will take care of intended user. But a very important note is sometimes the management may agree with the home intended users for SPFS purpose on threshold below which misstated identified is not bothered by the whom? 
but that agreement between them between them means what between buyer and seller my client and the seller and the buyer does not release whom auditor from the requirement to determine his own materiality in accordance with SA. By you are not bothered below five crore wala fraud man, but I saw it. I think that it is something which should be told to you. You ignore it now, but don't tell me what should I do, what I should not do. That's something which affects my professional judgment. Ke case me, I will not accept any interference done by whom the foreign entity intended user correct so that's what i hope you understood what are the three standards we integrated 200 210 and 3 let's understand what 315 has to say what's chota say sentence hai. they are simply saying that it requires auditor to obtain an understanding of what entity selection and application of what especially for the purpose of what just now many of 134 5 ka bataya tha. what are the seven areas if you are, if my client is good with those seven areas, I'm okay with that. It means 315 is over. What are the seven areas? Accounting policies, accounting estimates, accounting records, accounting standards, laws and regulation, internal financial control system and going concern. If in these seven areas, mein his selection of accounting policies and implementation is proper, appropriate, accounting standards are consistently followed, I don't have any objection to raise as per se. 315 it means my AR what is AR audit risk is very less clear 100% so what are the four standards ka usage we did 200 210 320 315 next one 260 iske baad ek hi baj jayega 700 series what is 260 communication with what dhyan se cheeze sunna yahan pe kya bola gaya hai it requires the auditor to determine the appropriate person within the entity's governance structure with whom he has to पहले समझो जनरल पर्पस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट में ऑडिट कमेटी हैज अ पावर टू ओवरसाइट द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट मतलब फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट विल बी प्रिपेयर्ड बाय बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स बट हु कैन क्रॉस चेक इट ऑडिट कमेटी टू फाइंड आउट द अनइंटेंशनल एरर्स डन बाय द मैनेजमेंट व्हाइल प्रिपेयरिंग द एफएस बट दिस इज नॉट जनरल पर्पस फाइनेंशियल स्टेटमेंट दिस इज अबाउट हियर टीसीडब्ल्यूजी इज नॉट द सेम पर्सन who was there at the time of general purpose. Let's say for example, this financial statements, SPFS, are being prepared by different set of people. Are prepared by what? Because tell me one thing, normal management was having a knowledge of which gap. But now we are preparing as per what? US gap. So it means do we need a special set of professionals to prepare FS also or not? When I am upskilling myself, company also have to upskill. In that case, you have to identify who is the right person to communicate as per 260. For you, that person will become your TCWG now. Did you understand what I am saying? Normally, who is our TCWG? Audit committee. If the audit committee is still in, involved in SPFS, it is fine. No change. But what if that audit committee is not doing the job now? Somebody else is doing, then my TCWG will remain same or it will be different. Simple sir, logic, right? In case all the man, all in the management are also involved in what TCWG, then application of communication requirement is what modified. We have read 260. When do we go to TCWG? Only when the management and TCWG are same or different. Then only there is a point of talking to them. Na? Otherwise, so there is no point of talking to them if TCWG and management people are what same. Clear? In case TCWG is not responsible for the oversight, it shall be declared for management use only. Yaad akhna, management responsibility paragraph mein, it should be clearly written that ki this preparation of SPFC is not made by the same TCWG who prepared what? GPFC. GPFS. Are you getting the point? So GPFS wale TCWG and SPF wale TCWG could be different could be same accordingly write it in your which paragraph management responsibility para ensure that spfc prepares shall be having a complete understanding of what intended requirements right now finally with standard 700 so what are the six standards ka compliance we have done 200 210 260 315 320 finally what 700 700 may they are showing nothing same reporting same standard equally applicable to you even if you are reporting as per 800 so format may change we know the format 
और इस फॉर्मेट टाइटल है एड्रेस ही है इंट्रोडक्शन मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑडिटर्स रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एंड डू वी राइट ऑडिटर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और अवर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यहां पे ऑडिटर यू आर डूइंग ऑडिटिंग ओनली ना अवर्स इज रिक्वायर्ड इन बी आर एस आर करेक्ट है इसलिए मैंने पूछा इन बिटवीन एंड नेक्स्ट में वो वाला वाला बेसिस ऑफ एंड रिस्ट्रिक्शन एंड यूज वाला पैराग्राफ एंड देन फॉलोड बाई वर्ड सिग्नेचर सिंपली सेवन हंड्रेड सीज ए रिक्वायर्स ऑडिटर टू इवेल्युएट वेदर द एफ एस एडिकुएटली रेफर टू और डिस्क्राइब द एप्लीकेबल एफ आर एफ जनरली सेम रिक्वायरमेंट ऑफ सेवन हंड्रेड एयर इज ऑल्सो रिक्वायर्ड टू बी अप्लाइड बिकॉज फॉर्मेट इज गिवन अबव वी हैव सीन दैन मोर और लेस इट इज वट सेम एडिशनल रिपोर्टिंग बाई एन ऑडिटर रिपोर्ट शेल डिस्क्राइब द पर्पज ऑफ सच एस पी एफ एस आर प्रिपेयर हु आर माई वट मीन्स जनरली वी डोंट डू दैट इन अवर नॉर्मल ऑडिट रिपोर्ट दे आर सींग दैट एज इट इज एस पी एफ सी तो दीज आर द थ्री एडिशनल रिक्वायरमेंट यू कैन एड इन योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पैरा वट इज द फर्स्ट वन Declaring that ki this financial statements are what special purpose financial statement who are going to be my and if the management has made any choice of its own F R F must ensure that it is disclosed in which para. वो वहाँ पे क्यों आया? क्योंकि A F R F is whose responsibility management. So let them disclose that in management paragraph. I am only going to disclose my responsibility is mine paragraph. Alerting the readers now. To avoid the misunderstandings, the auditor must alert the users of auditor report that financial statements are as per SPF (Special Purpose Framework) may not be suitable for any other purpose by including a which para EMP paragraph. De do, wo report me nahi tha which I shown you, but you have every right to include the which para EMP. Just alert them. Another alert: in case auditor thinks appropriate, he shall indicate that this report is intended. solely for the specific user by giving again which para emp with separate paragraph under the separate heading sometimes spfs may get used by word all other users but still it will be treated as spfs despite of its broad distribution bhai mera kaam tha bolna i wrote e, 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 uh, emp paragraph you are still distributing it to every users that is whose problem management Am I correct? But for me, it will be still remain as what SPFS. And summary: these are the standards we have made an incorporation. That brings an end to your standard. What are the standards? So can I say that hence it is proved that ki 800 is not overriding 100 to 700. Simple si baat hai. It is going for alignment, but not overriding. So that brings an end to your essay. 800, इजी था तो बहुत इजी था छोटा सा स्टैंडर्ड था खत्म हो गया हाउ मच टाइम इट टुक ऑल आई थिंक नॉट मोर देन वन आवर लिया दैट टू आई टोल्ड यू ना 15, 20 मिनट्स तो इसके ब्रॉडर फ्रेमवर्क में ही थे अदरवाइज अच्छा लास्ट टाइम बता दो उसके बाद ब्रेक ले लेना दस मिनट की मेरे को ये बताओ वट आर द मेजर रिक्वायरमेंट्स टू टेन में हमने क्या बोला बॉस कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आ रहा है एंड इट मे हैपन 210 में बोल दिया सेकंड क्या था अपना 320 और सॉरी 200 में 200 में बॉस वी आर गोइंग टू स्टिल फॉलो एथिकल रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑल एंड इन केस आई एम डूइंग एनी डिपार्चर आई विल मेक अ एडिक्वेट डिस्क्लोजर 320 में हमने क्या बोला इफ आई फील एंड माय प्रोफेशनल जजमेंट सेज दैट कि इवन दो बिलो बेंच मार्क्ड मटेरियल में स्टेटमेंट्स आर रिक्वायर्ड टू बी रिपोर्टेड आई विल नॉट थिंक ट्वाइस बिफोर रिपोर्टिंग इट क्योंकि दैट विल नॉट लिमिट माय स्कोप फोर्थ में थ्री वन फाइव में हमने क्या बोला कि इफ द अडॉप्शन सिलेक्शन एंड इंप्लीमेंटेशन ऑफ अकाउंटिंग पॉलिसीज़ आर गुड तो एज पर थ्री वन फाइव माय रोमम इज वेरी लेस फिर हमने नेक्स्ट में क्या किया टू सिक्सटी रिवाइज हम लोग क्या बोल रहे हैं कि देर मे बी अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट द टी सी डब्ल्यू जी हुड ओवर साइटेड दिस एस पी एफ एस कुड बी वॉट डिफरेंट तो वी विल मेक श्योर दैट की एटलीस्ट तीन डिस्कलोजर तो देंगे वट आर द्रीन As per 700, what are the three disclosures? Additionally, you can give. You boss, this is SPFS. These are my intended user. And if the client has used any different accounting framework, so we will make sure that that should be included in the which para manager responsibility para. Clear? Hundred percent clarity. No doubt. Okay. Doubt? Aiga? How is it? Explain. Hundred percent. समझ में आ गया? दस मिनट की ब्रेक ले लो 
come back and before completion of writing don't ask anything take 5 minutes extra if you want right now samajho start go le lo bhai break uske baad bologe sir does not give the break okay start writing 800 एस से एट हंड्रेड फर्स्ट पॉइंट फर्स्ट ऑल राइट द हेडिंग स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन स्पेशल कंसिडरेशन ऑडिट ऑफ एफ एस ऑडिट ऑफ एफ एस prepared in accordance with audit of fs prepared in accordance with spf special purpose framework audit of fs prepared in accordance with spf special purpose framework now first heading difference between under that first heading difference between spf and gpf difference between spf and gpf okay first write gpf it is the requirement it is as per the requirement it is as per the requirement of law in india it is as per the requirement of law in india example schedule 3 of fs in companies act schedule 3 of fs in companies act second schedule 3 of fs schedule 3 of fs as per banking regulation act schedule 3 of fs as per banking regulation act third tax reportings under income tax act tax audit reportings under income tax act etc tax audit reporting under income tax act etc now on the other side or below that spf special purpose framework special purpose framework under the trade right, format of financial statements format of financial statement as per the requirements of formats of financial statements as per the requirement of investor creditor or certain specific requirement <coughs> as per the investor requirement of investor creditor or certain specific requirement example example a foreign investor example a foreign investor who has large stake a foreign investor who has large stake in indian operations of a company a foreign investor who has a 
लार्ज स्टेक इन इंडियन ऑपरेशंस ऑफ अ कंपनी वुड लाइक टू हैव एफएस वुड लाइक टू हैव एफएस एस पर हिज रिक्वायरमेंट्स would like to have fs as per his requirements next um you are writing special purpose framework na next point it is designed it is designed to meet the financial information needs it is designed to meet financial information needs of a specific user it is designed to meet the financial information needs of a specific user which could be based on which could be based on which could be based on requirements of a contract which could be based upon requirements of a contract or a loan agreement requirements of a contract or loan agreement or project grant purpose or project grant purpose project grant purpose whereas whereas general purpose framework continue only whereas <coughs> general purpose framework meets whereas general purpose framework meets financial information general purpose framework meets financial information needs whereas general purpose framework meets financial information needs of wide range of users need of wide range of users wide range of users right point number 2 this was all about first difference between general purpose framework this is was the first heading right next effective date of the standard effective date of the standard 1st april 2011 effective date of standard 1st april 2011 bracket me likh lo this essay does not override this essay does not override requirements of other essays this essay does not override the requirements of other essay next there are total next heading there are total three special considerations of essay 800 there are total three considerations there are total three special considerations of essay 800 a acceptance of audit engagement acceptance of audit engagement b 
planning and performance of the engagement planning and performance of engagement c forming an opinion on fs forming an opinion on fs forming an opinion on fs but not on effectiveness of entities ics forming an opinion on fs but not on effectiveness of entities ics not on effectiveness of entities ics now first heading considerations when accepting such engagement first heading consideration considerations when accepting such engagement considerations when accepting such engagement point number 1 auditor shall first know auditor shall first know a point the purpose for which spfs are getting prepared the purpose for which spfs are getting prepared purpose for which spfs are getting prepared second who is the intended user who is the intended user and third steps taken by the management steps taken by the management to determine that steps taken by the management to determine that AFRF to determine that AFRF they followed is acceptable. To determine that AFRF they followed is what acceptable. Next, as per essay two ten, up niche second point liklo. This was the main point. Auditor first shall know all of main point. Now point number two. As per SA two ten underline कर लेना. As per SA two ten under that, it is the duty of an auditor. It is the duty of an auditor to determine whether. any conflict exist between to determine whether any conflict exist between underline this financial reporting standards whether any conflicts exist between financial reporting standards and and additional requirements and additional requirements additional requirements point number 2 if yes point number 2 if yes required actions to be taken by the auditor if yes required actions to be taken by the auditor by informing responsible party by informing the responsible party for preparation of spfs 
by informing to responsible party who are responsible for preparation of SPFS. Why we are using the word responsible party? Why we didn't say TCWG? Maybe same, maybe what? Different. Next point. There shall be third point. There shall be clear and correct understanding of. There shall be clear and correct understanding of terms and conditions. There shall be clear and correct understanding of terms and conditions between. Auditor of SPFS and the responsible party between the auditor of SPFS and the responsible party to avoid future misunderstandings. To avoid future misunderstandings. Example, fourth point may look example. If the client and the purchaser, if the client bracket may who is a vendor, your client is a and the purchaser, a second, ah, your client is a vendor because he is selling now. If the client bracket middle vendor and the purchaser has agreed on has agreed on including has agreed on including non collectible debtors has agreed on including non collectible debtors in the figure of net assets, non collectible debtors, in the figure of net assets, comma, in such case, in the very first hand only, in such case, in the very first hand only. Auditor must bring this, auditor must bring this issue, auditor must bring this issue to the notice of, must bring this issue to the notice of responsible party, this issue to the notice of responsible party. So the first heading is over, that is called considerations with respect to accept of engagement. Second, considerations when planning and performing such audit. Considerations when planning and performing such audit. Considerations when planning and performing such audit. Point number one, as per SA 200, as per SA 200, A, under that A point, here also auditor must follow, here also auditor must comply with all the relevant ethical requirements. Here also, auditor must comply with all relevant ethical requirements, especially with respect to independence. All relevant ethical requirements, especially with respect to independence. B point. 
he shall also comply with he shall also comply with all other essays he shall also comply with all other essays which are relevant to the audit all other essays which are relevant to the audit now third point isko pure sentence ko underline kar lena but in exceptional circumstances but in exceptional circumstances if auditor does any departure in exceptional circumstances if auditor does any departure from a particular relevant requirement of sa but in exceptional circumstances if auditor does any departure from particular relevant requirement of sa by performing particular relevant requirement of sa by performing alternative audit procedures by performing alternative audit procedures comma he must disclose the same he must disclose the same with reasons in writing he must disclose the same with reasons in writing underline the whole sentence this is only main catch in the whole standard so two ten we wrote 200 we wrote next one 320 what was the catch in this standard so in case your professional judgment say that even immaterial according to them is material to you you don't have to think twice before implementing it right now right as per essay 320 as per essay 320 as per essay 320 under that point number 1 generally we consider generally we consider materiality generally we consider materiality on the basis of on the basis of common on the basis of common financial information on the basis of common financial information needs of a user common financial information needs of a user but but in spfs but in spfs those judgments or materiality but in spfs those judgments or materiality shall be based on those judgments and materiality shall be based on consideration of shall be based on consideration of financial information needs of intended user consideration of financial information needs of intended user generally we should do this right now write the point number 2 and again start underlining the whole sentence but sometimes sometimes if auditor determines his materiality
on the basis of his professional judgment sometimes if auditor determines materiality on the basis of his professional judgment and comes to conclusion that comes to conclusion that the benchmark of material misstatements comes to the conclusion that benchmarks of material misstatements agreed between agreed between oddity and intended user agreed between oddity and intended user is not appropriate then he may go as per his professional judgment correct then he may proceed as per his professional judgment did you understand the whole sentence as per his professional judgment ek kaam karo support it with the answer uh, example right example intended user example intended user was not bothered about any cash mm any cash material misstatement below a threshold limit of 5 cr below a threshold limit of 5 cr but auditor but auditor thinks it appropriate to be considered to draw his conclusion correct auditor thinks it appropriate to be considered to draw his conclusion now as a 315 only one sentence as per as a 315 next as per as a 315 what is the only thing if you are good with the okay with the selection and implementation of your which policies accounting policies then we are don't have any problem as per as a 315 under that it requires auditor it requires auditor to obtain an understanding it requires auditor to obtain an understanding of entities selection to obtain an understanding of entities selection and application of entities selection and application of accounting policies specially for the purpose of spfs specially for the purpose of spfs now next heading as per sa 260 revised as per sa 260 revised under that point number 1 it requires auditor to determine it requires auditor to determine appropriate person is ko underline kar lena to determine appropriate person within the entity's governance appropriate person within the entity's governance structure entity's governance structure 
विद होम ही हैज टू कम्युनिकेट विद होम ही हैज टू कम्युनिकेट राइट पॉइंट नंबर टू इन केस प्रिपेयर्स फॉर एस पी एफ एस इन केस प्रिपेयर्स ऑफ एस पी एफ एस आर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम जी पी एफ एस कॉमा देन दिस नीड विल अराइज then this need will arise very important point is ko star mark dalna in case in case tcwg specifically declared in case tcwg specifically declared that they have no responsibility in case tcwg specifically declared that they have no responsibility for oversight of spfs they have no responsibility for oversight of spfs comma auditor shall clearly auditor shall clearly mention auditor shall clearly mention that is such f spffs that such spffs are to be used for management purpose only such spffs are to be used for management purpose only but in case at the time of in case at the time of agreeing to initial audit engagement terms but in case at the time of agreeing to initial audit engagement terms it was decided that tcwg will tcwg will oversee spfs then they shall also be included in the list of responsible party next sa 700 sa 700 under that right it requires auditor it requires auditor to evaluate whether fs refers to afrf or not whether fs refers to <coughs> a f r f or not that's it second point in case he wants in case he wants he can make additional disclosures like what is the purpose comma 
who is the intended user like what is the purpose comma who is the intended user and if management has made any choice isko underline kar lena and if management has made any choice of its own frf hyphen must mention it hyphen must mention it in management responsibility para must mention it in management responsibility para last heading alerting readers alerting readers to avoid any misunderstandings to avoid any misunderstandings auditor may include emp para in his report to avoid misunderstandings auditor may include emp para in his report alerting the readers or users alerting readers or users may include emp para in his report alerting readers or users not to use this audit report as it includes opinion on spfs as it includes opinion on spfs which is meant only for intended user which is meant only for intended user correct point number 2 but there is no restriction on its distribution but there is no restriction on its distribution that is company may allow users to use the same company may allow users to use the same see apna kaam tha alert karna we did it if company wants they can distribute this also to the users that is completely their thing we alerted in emp ki boss this is only including an opinion on spf right this is what all about sa 800 रुको रुको अभी लिख लो कंटेंट्स ऑफ ऑडिट रिपोर्ट ये तीनों स्टैंडर्ड्स में आएगा कंटेंट्स नॉट ओन गोइंग टू मेक यू राइट एनीथिंग डोंट वरी जस्ट हेडिंग्स कंटेंट्स ऑफ ऑडिट रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट वन टाइटल कंटेंट्स ऑफ ऑडिट रिपोर्ट फर्स्ट वन टाइटल व्हाट विल बी द टाइटल independent auditors report on spfs independent auditors report on spfs that is title addressee second intended user addressee hyphen intended user third opening para और इंट्रोडक्शन पैरा ब्रैकेट में लिख लो डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑडिटर डिटेल्स ऑफ ऑडिटर नेक्स्ट मैनेजमेंट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी पैरा नेक्स्ट auditors responsibility para
నెక్స్ట్ ఒపీనియన్ పెర అండ్ లాస్ట్ బేసిస్ ఆఫ్ అకౌంటింగ్ అండ్ రిస్ట్రిక్షన్ ఆన్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ అండ్ యూస్ పెర బేసిస్ ఆఫ్ అకౌంటింగ్ and restriction on distribution and use era is ke under four things if you remember who prepared it likh lo likh lo chota sahi hai who prepared it under that who prepared it why it has been prepared why it has been prepared how it is prepared and last who is our intended user who is our intended user and the last date place signature date place signature of auditor fine sir so that brings an end to your first standard of specialized series 800 followed by two more 805 810 see you guys in the morning session thank you good night to all of you